Hi, I'm Peggy Farron. Welcome to the Understand Photography Show, where we talk about travel, nature, and fine art photography. Hey, have you ever wondered, as a photographer, how to get a sponsor? Well, stay tuned as I talk to uh, Gary Farber with Hunt's Photo and Video about just that subject. First, I just want to remind you that you can watch the Understand Photography Show live on our Facebook page at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Fridays. Okay, so that's facebook.com slash understand photography. So watch us live right on Facebook. But if you miss the live show, we put the recordings onto YouTube and then we also put the audio on iTunes as a podcast. So just do a search under the Understand Photography Show and you will find us. And while you're there, please comment, like, review, rate. Uh, it really helps us a lot and we want to keep doing it. We hope you're enjoying the show. I hope you're getting a lot out of it and learning a lot. Um, Joe Fitzpatrick and I put together a book. It's a guidebook called Florida Photo Spots. And in this book we have, well this is Collier County, Naples and Collier County. So we have a little bit about the Everglades in here and a lot about the city of Naples and Collier County area. Is pertain, this pertains to wildlife photographers, portrait photographers. We talk, we give you the coordinates, we talk about what to shoot there, what you're going to see, what time of year to go, um, best time of day, everything like that in this guidebook. You can actually read some of the pages free on Amazon. Get this on Amazon.com. You can get it as an ebook or as a, as a soft cover book. Um, today, my guest on the Understand Photography Show is Gary Ferber from Hunt's Photo and Video. Welcome, Gary. Thank you, thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. Number two times. <laughs> yes, Gosh, yes. pretty soon you'll be like Joe Fitzpatrick. You'll be on every couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll stick to my day job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now Hunt's Photo and Video mm -hmm. is a pretty big, mm -hmm. um, it's not just a camera store because you have how many? We have eight stores. Eight camera stores. And you have an online business as well. Correct. So you're a pretty big company. Um, so you're the right guy to mm -hmm. talk to if you are a photographer who wants to get a sponsor. You know everybody in the industry pretty much at this point, I would say, right? Yep, been, how long have so. you personally been in the business? Uh, I've been in the business for about um, 20, almost 25 years. I That's started pretty my, long time. I started when I was 14. Yeah, <laughs> and your family's been in the yeah. business for like um, generations. So generation, generation, <laughs> yes. yeah. So you know pretty much everybody in the business. So you hear, you talk to the other camera equipment vendors and well, all the kind of mm. people. So you know what people, so what, what, when we say a sponsor, what, what, what am I talking about? Um, when you say a sponsor, that means um, somebody, a photographer that, um, that um, endorses a product or promotes a certain product um, um, and have an, has, has an outreach to, um, on social media, have a, has a big, big, big following. Um, in today's world, um, kind of what a sponsor looks for is they look for the first thing. The first thing they look for, and even to, even if they considering a sponsor, if they approach a sponsor, is they look for their. They go right away and look for the social media, look for the Facebook, Instagram, and see the type type of followers that they have. Um, mm. Another thing they look for is contact and what they're and, and what they're promoting, how they're promoting, how they're promoting. Um, how they're doing things. Now, and, what do you mean by that? Um, more like what they're posting. If it's not maybe maybe, maybe their like their pictures or um, you know what where where they're shooting um, type of thing. Um, the contact they're putting on as far as maybe you know not more about. Make sure they don't put anything <laughs> political, <laughs> political on, there on there and that yeah. kind of stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, more I don't know how to explain, but more the contact type of thing or what they're you know. What, so what, you want to make more, sure that they're it's, it's promoting photography, photography type of stuff yes. and they're, that they've got photographers Correct. following them because you're selling photography so, equipment. Yeah. It should be informational, be some type of thing where someone can go to it and learn. Learn from the uh, learn from a, a post and say, wow, you know, it's got to be something that's got to be eye catching, not just, you know, about who they are, about themselves. It's, you know, they look information, learning stuff, and something the thing. It, it, someone say, well, I saw this thing on a Sigma lens. You know, I, I think I, I'm really interested. So oh, okay. the, I think the contact and how they approach things is very important in what okay. a big step in how, in how what they look for. All right, so we're gonna get in more into that, but first, like, what would the relationship look like? Or is it is it different with every vendor and every photographer? What would a relation like a sponsor sponsored photographer vendor relationship look like? Um, like how are like how do they work together? 
it's kind of different with, with, with kind of every photographer. Um, sometimes uh, our sponsorship will just simply thing asking for a door prize, you know, um, for, for a oh, contest. Okay. It could be something as small as that. It could be something as, as big as um, they're going on the shoot to, um, to the Tetons and, and, and they, and they want to try out the, the Canon 500mm f4 lens. Um, and they want to take it on on a trip, and it could be the point of, of Canon or Sigma or anybody or a camera store loaning them loaning them lens for the trip, so they can okay. use it for the trip to to try it out. Um, it, it could be uh, almost to the point of sponsoring us. They're going to be at, at a trade show, and they're looking for us. They look photographers approach a, a vendor or a camera store about sponsoring and covering all the expenses to go out and speak. Okay. So it could be as far as that. So there's really all different type of things that yeah. that could be involved in, in, in a sponsorship and what, what what's involved with it. Now, one of the things that I see at trade shows too is I see that some of the speakers are actually working behind the booths or in the booths, I guess you'd say, at like Sigma or Tamron or you know they're they're they have their own businesses as a <laughs> photographer, but then they're standing behind the Panasonic booth helping to sell the Panasonic. So are they salespeople in that case? Or you how does that the work? Actual, the, the, the speak, the speak, the... Like the, somebody, let's say, um, I can't think of anybody here. A this, photographer or like... A, a photographer, a, a, like a, that, um, a, at the Panasonic... Sure. Shiv, okay, yes. Shiv, okay. Yes. So, so for instance, like that, the, um, a lot of times today when, they, when a company sponsors a photographer, and more so in the last couple of years, they be, when they're not, when it, when the photographer is done um, doing their programs, they 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 like to have the manufacturers like to have the photographer in 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 the booth, um, helping them out. Ah. If they have questions or have to answer questions, they want to be able to have them available to answer to get so, to get to get the pro point of view. Rather, some because it looks a lot different. You're asking if you're going to a booth and you're asking a Sigma. Uh, you know, a thing on a lens. Of course, they're gonna say Sigma's the be you know the best lens possible. You know, of course, type thing. Yeah. You know, there's nothing else better. But getting getting it getting a view from a photographer's point thing, for a customer type thing, has a lot more has a lot more weight and a lot more value than than hearing it from a from, from, from that a person that works sense. for the company. So, what would they do in exchange for paying for, you know, sponsoring you to go speak at the convention? They say, okay, I'll sponsor you. I'll pay. Do they pay them a stipend as, I mean, do they pay them like a every, payment as well, or do they just company, cover? Every, every company, company is every different. Company's different. Um, a lot of, the standard type of sponsorship for photographers is they, okay. if they fly out, they cover their meals, they cover their hotels, they give them some type of stipend to, to speak, to, to, to speak okay. the thing, they cover all their expenses. And then in exchange, they say, hey, but after you're not speaking, yeah. I want you at the booth. Correct. I mean, it's not, ah. it's not kind of like, it's not kind of like mandatory, but um, but that definitely. But does if you want to keep that keep relationship, relationship going, and keep the things going. It, 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 it's it. They look at those things and they okay. and they value that they know the people that are doing the extra things to you know. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. So what now? What are the sponsored photographers supposed to do besides you know? Okay, this is one instance where they're actually working at the trade show. So if but you're what a, if, if what you're if a sponsored photographer, the things that I look for, or other companies look for, if you if you if you finally agree to sponsor photographer, is one of the things they look for is um, again going back to social media. If they're at an event and they're shoot and they're out doing a hands-on workshop and they're, they they got a, a big group in the field and they 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 like to see them after the end of the workshop or during the workshop, post a picture of. Arcadia National Park using the Sigma 150 600 lens and mm. showing an image of that lens with showing an image of shot with that lens and putting a link back to either the deal that sponsors them or the manufacturer and putting a link sig shot with Sigma 150 600 lens and putting a link so it goes directly to that to, to, to their site or to the vendor site to, to, to order it. Ah, um, so see, that's I one have a lot to learn here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the key fixtures. Every every sponsor today, if they're a sponsor, they like to the manufacturers like to be see them doing at least one or two social media posts a day about their about their product. Wow. Yes. Wow. Um, Boy, another right. thing that they do is they like to be able if they're at if they if you if Sigma has been or or Tamron or whoever asks a photographer to be in a, if they're asked to be in a, at an event, they would like to see that photographer. Um, on their outreach and their and their social media, all their communications promote that event and promote you're going to be at this event, speaking at this event, 
I'm going to be there. Come, you know, mm -hmm. come be there. I'll be at the Signal booth, whatever. You know, come see me. Um, I'll be there. You know, we'll be. You know, they they like you to promote the events that you're going to be at as well. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's say I want to be sponsored. Okay. How would I go about like getting? Should I? Who would I approach? How do I approach them? So would I, like I'm a Canon shooter. My chances of getting in as a sponsor by Canon are probably pretty slim, pretty at, this slim at this point in this yes. career, my career, right? But I also, like I have some Sigma and mm -hmm. some Panasonic. Should I approach companies that I already use their products? Do you think that's a better way to go or? Um, it's probably like a 50-50 to tell you the truth. Usually companies, you can certainly approach them and, and send them information, send them contact. Um, and so they're kind of aware of you type thing and get to see who you, who you are and stuff like that. But usually, most of the times, the, the manufacturer, if they're really interested, they, 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 approach you, they approach you rather than you approach them. Um, oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to have a type of thing because you know, if you're not a big name, if you're not somebody big, and you know, and you, but you could have, you could be very, you could be a great, great photographer and have a great, great image, and could be a, uh, could be a really good, good person, and it might be better than somebody already have sponsored. But if you're a small person, they may not know that. They may not know the potential that, that they have unless you reach out to them. So that's why it's sometimes it's good to reach out to them. Um, but so how would somebody reach out um, in in, usually, in a non hmm. pushy, offensive way? You know what I mean? Because I think. You know, all of us as people have different personalities, mm. and some of us are a little more hesitant to mm. reach out to somebody. Some people are too pushy. Some mm. people are, what's the right way to approach a vendor? I mean, would you go up to them at a trade show, or would you, I mean? I typically probably would not go up to, go up to them during a the trade show. If you saw them like in a, social, in like a hall type thing, or saw them type of thing, in that way, in a friendly you know, thing where they're not busy, I would, then I would, you know, kindly go up to them and stuff like that. Um, but um, the best way to probably approach someone is, is by going onto the website, you know, looking, um, um, find, somehow try to find a marketing person. Every, every company has a marketing department person. Okay. And usually the marketing department person is the person that, that, that's in charge of sponsoring the speakers and stuff like that. Okay. So I would send out an email to the marketing person. If they don't, if they don't get in touch with you, I would call, you know, after a while, I would call the company directly and ask, I'd like to speak to the marketing department person and then tell them a little bit about you and and um, the big thing is you know not be, not to be pushy but be persistent but not be not but not be pushy about it but now would you mail them or email them like you know here's my portfolio or anything like that or you wouldn't want to be bothered um, I probably kind of stuff? once I would probably wait until they wait until you get in touch with them and then talk to them about it and then okay. once they have information and say, well, you know, let me think about it. Good stuff. If they don't say anything about, you know, we, you know, we're not sure right now. We're not doing anything right now. Right. Kind of fill them out. And if they say they're not interested, right, just not interested right now. Just get the information and say it was nice to talk to you. I really had a great conversation. Um, here's some images of what I do. I, this is all my workshops I do. I'm doing teaching. Um, hit, let's let's uh, please keep me in mind. Um, and, and just and just follow up. What you never would know be a good like email subject to get their attention? Because I would imagine they get hundreds and hundreds of emails every day, right? right. You probably do, I'm sure. Yeah. I know I do. Uh, no, right. Um, so a, a lot of the emails, I don't even open them. I just go click, 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 click. You know I, how you do the little check marks and delete. I don't even open mm. the emails, a lot of them. So what would be, like, what would be a good email header, <laughs> subject line? That's, you got me Sponsor <laughs> me, Peggy Farron. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably think of I, something. That one go right in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably think of something creative, creatively, but you put me on the spot. I, would, I know. I, need, I, I just need, thought I of that. That's why that. I know. But I just it just came to me. I right bet you now. I could think of something for you, but I would but have yeah, to. But yeah, if you think of something, we'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> All right. Free <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, okay, so three must-have assets a photographer mm. has to have in order to get sponsored. Um, a good following in social media, you just told me. Yes, good following in social What is a good following? A good following is probably to at least even to be considered type thing. Good song would be probably, you know, um, tw at least easily 20,000 20, followers. Okay. Um, you know, a real, real, to get someone's eye, eye contention, you know, like in the middle type thing would probably be about 50, would probably be about 50 to 100,000. Okay. You know, thing, and then something that's like unbelievable, that's like wild type thing, would be anywhere over a half a million to a million followers. 
Now, one of the things I see other photographers do that I'm terrible at mm. is, like on Instagram, mm. they have like all these hashtags, and they mm. hashtag Canon, and mm. they hashtag Hunt's photo mm. and video, they ha and you don't even know who they yeah. are, but they're tagging you because yeah. they want you to know who they are. Yeah. Do you think that's a good idea? I definitely think it's a good idea to okay. have that type of thing and have that type of thing. I think more and more people are doing that, and our company seem to, seem to like it. So. Okay. Um, so that's very that's very important. Um, the the newest thing that's very very important more companies doing today that they like to I I think it's good that in a new thing in concerning sponsorship maybe a year ago wasn't very important but more people are doing today if they're doing programs or things is live streaming, um, being able to do stuff and being at being at a workshop if you're teaching a workshop, is be or, or you're at a photography conference and be able to live stream it so they so then after that they can sh share it on social media and and. and and share it to everybody and, and show what they show what they missed not being there, um, oh, and type of thing yeah. to be there and say, "Well, I just missed this great conference, or this is what I could do. You should have been at this event." Okay. Um, so live streaming has become very important to 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 get people to know about the stuff they want there, or get people excited about coming to some type of thing in the future. Okay. Um, so that's right. a very important thing. What else well. you got? Um, well, you're on a roll. <laughs> another important <laughs> thing is it, another important thing is follow through. Um, you know, if you if you agree to a sponsorship type thing and you and you go for the contact, follow through, do whatever you agree on doing. Make sure you do it. Don't just say to do it. Don't just say you're going to do it just to get just to get the just to get your paycheck. Mm -hmm. Actually, c carry through and whatever you, they agreed on, you take it seriously. Do you have a lot it. of problems with that? Um, I feel a lot of people sometimes look for a sponsorship type thing just to get the get just to get the quick check. And say they're gonna do a lot of things, and then don't and then they just don't, don't do it. Or they say they don't have the time to do it. I'm too busy, or you know, whatever. It just mm -hmm. it's uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people look for sponsorship just 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 look for the quick buck and, and, and make and get the paycheck and don't and don't really understand what don't, sponsorship yeah, don't really yeah. understand what sponsorship really now is. Now let me ask you this: Do you have a contract with people like that? Do you have a written contract? This is what I expect, or is it just me verbal? personally? I don't have a contract with things. I, I just I, for me, it's about trust and, and relationships and knowing that I can. Do you think most the of them are like most that? Most of the some companies have contracts. I know Canon has a contract. I know Sigma has a contract. I know Tamara does not have a contract, but it's just the word of mouth. So every company is different. Yeah, um, I but, never thought about that huh, either. You know, all these things are <laughs> just coming to mind yeah. right now. You know. Um, I think another big thing is, is, is in looking for a sponsorship, what they look for today is um, someone who's passionate, someone who's down to earth, someone who d who's not bold himself, someone who doesn't have like a huge, huge ego type thing. Um, I mean, someone who's really, really passionate, understands thing and, you know, and um, really wants to extend himself and make sure that the sponsorship type thing, or it's, it's going to be a win-win type thing and not just looking. Because people can, companies can read that more, I think there's more, Unfortunately, I think there's more of those people out there today, and companies can read that. And sometimes in the past, companies have sponsored type things, and and and, and they and the photographer or whoever has not always come through on their part of the type of thing. I'll and tell you what, though, there's a guy <laughs> who we both know who's extremely mm. full of himself, but he is such a good salesperson mm. for the company mm. that he's sponsored mm. by. I told you I impulse yeah. bought a thousand dollar <laughs> lens that I didn't even <laughs> need right. when he was speaking. Yeah. But boy, he's <laughs> he's quite got an ego. <laughs> right? I guess so, but um, But if he's doing yeah. the job he's doing, if he's doing a, he's job, doing a great a job, job is yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. So um, although I think that's you know, it's hard when I first started hmm. like the speaking hmm. and all that kind of stuff, the self promotion has been difficult because I never wanted to be famous mm. I just wanted to make a good living in mm. photography because I love photography mm. you know but then I started realizing well if I want to sell my online classes I have to have this presence and mm. it was uncomfortable for me some people it's not uncomfortable for at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah and sometimes it's meant to be the person who does photography and they do a thing and you know, it's just they have it in their heart to do it you know but Oh. It's it's mm. different. The world is changing, and, mm. and we have to change with it. And 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 I think, like you said, just last year you had different qualifications mm. for who you would sponsor than this year. Right. You know, the world's changing so quickly. So what turns you off on a potential? Like if, if say I'm I'm approaching you, I'm Peggy Fair, mm. and I want to be sponsored by Hunts, and mm. what do I do that drives you crazy uh. that you would never consider me? Um. Well, number one, I mean, um, again, we, we, I think we talked about some of that stuff, but, you know, um, if, if, if you, 
someone we we talk about sponsorship type thing. We have a thing and we and we have a good discussion. And I and if I send you an email and you don't and, and I have to chase you down to get to get have you guys get back to me or have the thing and and don't see the, if I we talk about early conversation. I don't see the drive. I don't see the the wills and the the want to do it. That 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 can turn me off. Um, Someone who just talks about how great they are and how phenomenal they are <laughs> and everything they're doing, everything so well, you know, it's, you know, um, Turn off. That, that kind of, for me, that turns it off. You know, I, me personally, I'm very, I don't, you know, I, I do, I'm a very passionate person, but I don't, I don't like to, um, you know, show off myself and tell, and tell people how great I'm doing and how, you know, it just, it just. That's a turn off you know, for me too. You know, I just, I don't, I just, you know, it's just, it's not, I, it, for me, it rubs me the wrong way. Um, so that's the thing, um, you know, again, someone who's, someone who's, again, about ego, you know, someone has a real big, big ego. I mean, you can, I guess you can have an ego, but you don't have it in a way that's, that, it, that is like, I guess it's good to have an ego, you know, to some degree, but yeah. it's not in a way that, that is like, you know, to the point where it could, you could get a huge ego, where it could turn someone off. It's like, yeah. you know, yeah. that type of thing. So that, that kind of, that kind of turns me off. Another thing that turns me off is if, if anybody who just cares about money and it's all they care about is money. And, what, and the first question they ask me is, do you have an affiliate program? You know, that's a, if that's the first question they ask me, do you have an affiliate program? That kind of that kind of turns me off. That kind of ah. turns me off too, because for me, I think there's more there's there's more value in a partnership and a sponsorship rather than, than just an affiliate program. Actually, let's talk about <laughs> that. I find that interesting <laughs> and that and surprising to tell <laughs> you the truth. <laughs> so, because I know, you know, affiliate, especially if you have <laughs> an online. <laughs> presence and you have a blog mm. affiliate programs are a big way that people mm. make money you know and so they can afford to be a blogger mm. or have the time to be a blogger or whatever but you don't do affiliate programs at all we and don't you don't do even it. like it if somebody asks you though um i mean i That's don't like it. i mean i don't totally get turned off right away but but yeah but usually usually i find if it's all they care about is an affiliate program and that's all that's then that's the number one criteria it, it, whether to build a it's relationship. Not, it's not the it, type of person it, you're not, looking it's for. It's not the type of person I'm looking for. Maybe it's good for the Amazons, the B&Hs, the Adoramas, because they're, those type of guys, they're looking to conquer the whole entire world and get everybody to shop them. They have a different philosophy yeah. than what I have. Yeah. But uh, my philosophy is, is, is different. I'm not looking to sell to every single person and get every single blogger to 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 have hunts thing that's not okay. that's not my philosophy. I, I, yeah, it's just interesting yeah. to me because I see to me that that is a win-win type hmm. of situation. Affiliates, right? You know, I have affiliates selling my online hmm. classes. Yeah, and I feel like that's a kind hmm. of like a partnership, hmm. and I think it's win-win. But I, that's interesting that yeah. you don't. It's I mean, to some degree, it's and so, I don't. To some, to some, deg to, to some degree, it's it's good for certain things. But for, for, for I guess for my business and for what I do. And what I offer photographers, and what I do for photographers, at the end of the day, I, what I bring to the table, it, it, it has much more value than than, than you than me offering Philly, Philly program to you to make to make whatever you're gonna make four or five hundred bucks a year, you know. In, well, in, I'll in a tell you, program. there's really only a, there's really only a handful of photographers out there in the in the world that are may, maybe I don't know, maybe other. 30, 40 that are really cashing in on affiliate programs. Ooh. Most of the photographers out there that have affiliate programs are only averaging between, if they're lucky, maybe they get a thousand bucks a you know a year. Oh wow! At, at so not most. very much money. So <laughs> it's, not much, it's not. It's not. At the end of the day, it's not. It's not. Most people are not cashing in and getting rich off. Well, program. and and you're. I don't know. You're. I don't know if this is your philosophy mm. at Hunts, but you are certainly more of a personal service type of business than a just a big empty internet presence like I've never been to B&H I mm. don't know anybody at B&H mm. of course I don't shop there anymore <laughs> since I met you <laughs> but, uh, but and because I met mm. you mm. and because you your mm. Hunts has a more personal approach mm. to things I think you know you call up mm. Alan or somebody mm. and he's gonna help you decide on what kind of lens to buy or mm. decide on you know whatever um, I just had uh, Dan Beauvais on the mm. show and he was talking about you know that oh call hunts and they can help you decide on a good tripod or whatever like that and so that is a, I think that's part of your philosophy and that's probably why the mm. straight internet marketing even though you do internet right. marketing it's not just like here just yeah. conquer the world like you said <laughs> I mean for the things for me for the affiliate program for what I offer photographers um, that is, I think is better value than a, than a, than a affiliate program um, is number one 
Um, for instance, yourself, you 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 you've been telling me that you wanted to reach out and and, and, and do out and speaking more and go out to events and, and and get and get your name out more. So I recommend you to, to you know to these different conferences and they called you up and and, and, and I'm a national thing, speaker you know? because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that has one value that's that's much much, much more effective in, in the long run. That's going to give you more. I'll tell you, it's making yeah. it would make me yeah. more loyal than you know. making a thousand no. dollar check. Yeah. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's certainly like I said, that's your personal yeah. approach. Um, kicking in money to help sponsor a photographer. You know, um, you know, if you you know again talking about loaning out equipment, if a photographer's going on a trip and I have a relationship with someone. And it, I, if, you know, if you want to ever, you know, potentially want to try something out, and we have a relationship going, and we have something going, um, I have no problem sending you a, a you know, a three thousand dollar lens or a w whatever, or even a small little whatever it is. It's, it's having you send that thing out, trusting you with the equipment and stuff like that. That's another value of that's of, a big value you know, too. Type of thing, um, you know. Occasionally, <laughs> you know, if you wanted to try to. You know, become a sponsor or get a connection with with a, with a with a manufacturer. You know, if I believe in you and believe what you do and know that you carry through and and, and everything we start off with and you're seeing a partnership type thing, I go to bat for the for the manufacturer and say, listen, this person is a go getter. He's really good. Somebody you should have on your team. Yeah. Um. You know, it's those those things right there have a lot more weight than 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 a, than, I than, agree. than a failure program. So what have been like what have been some of the best things that photographers have done for you at Hunts as far as I know what you do for me yeah. and I know what you do for everybody yeah. else but what did what did they do for you um, I think some of the best things that some of those photographers do for me is um, if they have if they have a good experience about Hunts photo and they like they believe in Hunts photo they you know they go out on the, in a newsletter and they go into if they have a newsletter and say listen I, I buy all my gear from Hunts photo and video um, and, 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 and tell them, you know, you can't, you, you know, it's a, personal pro, it's a personal service, a personal touch. I get the best customer service in the industry. If you need something, this is a place to call and really emphasize why they should buy Hunt's Photo. That's one of the, you know, that's one of the big things that, one of the good things that they, that they do for me. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, it, sharing my discounts on their social media thing, their website um, is another you know, not a big thing. But and Hunts has great yeah. prices, so it's yeah. not hard to do. No, it's not hard to do. Good prices and good <laughs> service. I think the service is yeah. even better. The service is a better thing. You can buy, at the end yeah. of the day, you can buy a camera anywhere. But yeah. what's going to make, what's, what makes people switch to Hunts Photo and Video, or, or let's, let's, let's take out Hunts Photo, let's take out Hunts Photo, make anybody switch to anybody in, in today. If you find somebody that has that personal connection, that personal touch, or somebody you can call and, and really believe in, and, and it's more than just a salesperson. You're, that's going to make someone switch switch to anybody. That's hard to find in today's world, but if you find that if you find that thing, that that that's certainly going to make me switch and, and buy, well, and buy from somebody. Then for then me, my customers are mm -hmm. you know mostly hobbyist photographers. I'm going to say. I mean, some professionals, but mostly hobbyist photographers, and and they. They don't know what to buy, hmm. you know, and so they, they're always like, where's a camera store? We don't have a camera store, hmm. you know, <laughs> but, but these people will help you over the phone, you know, and so they like that. They hmm. don't, they don't want to just go on Amazon and try to decide what to buy. They don't know, you right. know? Yeah. So that is nice that you I mean, I personally think there's a lot of people that buy on Amazon and buy from being at Adirond because that's the most easiest thing, the most convenient thing to do. And they, and there's, uh, and again, hard customer service is hard to find and they don't but once they find it if they find an option they I, I believe a lot of people would rather buy from someone they they have an option they but they have they, it's hard to find that thing it is. if you gave them a choice you found that I think I think I think people would rather buy it from I do from too up, all right so let's go back to being mm -hmm. okay so are there any drawbacks if I let's say I was a sponsored photographer from anybody mm -hmm. from you know not just hunts but any mm -hmm. any company was my are there any drawbacks for the photographer to being sponsored that you can um, think of? I think one of the drawbacks is in, today, in today's world is being a sponsored photographer. Um, more so in the last couple of years is, is, is there's a lot of pressure on you and to, 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 to deliver what to deliver as, as to what you what you agree to doing and, and making sure that you're you're delivering to the thing and making sure that you're um, also in a 
passion way, not a hot sell way, but uh, making sure you're selling, you're, you're selling, you're, you're selling product, you're, you're, you're pushing product. So and, you've got a lot of pressure, things. and is, is and maybe not as much money as it used to be in the olden days. Because I know <laughs> Canon doesn't sponsor as many. They, they don't, don't send them out as much. They don't send them out as much. They cut back on what, yeah. what they do. Sigma has cut back on what they do. Yeah. Other so, people have. So maybe so. the money is not that great, <laughs> but then you still have all the pressure. You have all the, you have all the pressure to deliver. They may expect a lot of And then what if you're not exactly loyal to one? Not that I'm not loyal. Mm. I'm a Canon shooter, but mm. I also have a Panasonic camera. Yeah. Usually speaking. What if I'm pushing my... Panasonic mm. stuff, am I going to make the Canon guy mad? You know, that kind you of definitely, stuff. Definitely, in today's world, you definitely, if you are sponsored by Sigma or sponsored by Tamron or Panasonic, Fuji, whatever it is, you better you, be using you, their you equipment be using only, their right? You cannot be using, you cannot be using other, pro, other thing or mentioning other, other, other things. I mean, um, I've seen people lose their sponsorship because, because of that. Yeah, well, I, it makes sense. Mm. But that would be a drawback that would because be a drawback. I'm not. <laughs> I was. I mean, mm. I was all Canon all the way, and then I bought that Sigma, Sigma. lens, <laughs> and I'm like, wow, this lens <laughs> is really good, you know? Yeah. And <laughs> kind of opened up my mind my, a little bit more. I wasn't yeah. very open-minded before that. Yeah. So. I mean, another thing in sp um, sponsoring a, a, a photographer or uh, I believe in a photographer wanting to get sponsored type thing. That maybe would turn me off or turn a vendor off, whatever. Is uh, a photographer should only approach a photographer sh should only approach a, a a vendor like me or whoever camera store or a manufacturer if they totally believe in the product and they like the product. If you do not like the product and you don't if you don't like the product and you don't believe in the product, do not. Or, 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 yeah. or you, or you, or you, or you know that you, you have no intention of buying from a camera store, and, you, and do not approach them and ask them for an affiliate program. Do not approach them and ask them for sponsorship. Thing. If you have no, if you have no way of, of you have no reason to, you're going to shoot them or believe in them or, or you do business with them. You do not, do, 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 do yeah. not approach them. Last year, I felt so guilty because I was doing a talk on lighting and a uh, company sent me some mm. swag. Yeah. And uh, I was so excited. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, somebody mm. sent me swag. I'm a big shot yeah. now. And then I didn't like it. Mm. And so then I've carried all this guilt. I tried mm. to return it. And they're yeah. like, no, we don't want it back. No yeah. big deal. But I, I just, it's not bad stuff. Mm. It's just, I know I'm not going to use yeah. it. I, there's better mm. stuff out there. But and there so are photographers out there, and it makes. I feel it, guilty still <laughs> to this day that they sent me this yeah. stuff, you know, because I don't use it. But there are photographers out there today, and it makes and, and it, it, it in today's world of social media, it, it gets around quick. But there are photographers out there that will just use anything, just 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 so they can, just so they can get paid, get a paycheck, and they'll they'll use three or four different. They'll use whatever lighting system they the thing or any type of lens they think if they're if they're being paid, um, yeah. just to do it, and that that's. I mean, if That's you're gonna, if they're, if if they paid me and I liked it, and I would use it, right? Even but if there was something a little bit better out there, you but know what I mean? You don't want to be using, you don't want to be using different, different. You but don't, don't want to be using the same. You don't want to be using the same lighting thing, the same, the same type of lighting thing with th three different, four different lighting systems. Just, just because, just right. because. Right. Well, there's because your conflict then, of yeah. interest too. Yeah. So that's right? what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, but you have to believe in the product. If you like the product and you love the product, then approach them. If you don't believe in the product. Do not reach out to someone. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. To me, that doesn't even make mm. sense. But mm. I guess people do it. They do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would just reach mm. out to the people that you know, mm. like products that mm. I love. Of course, the ones I love, you know, are not, uh, not like I love the Gary Fung Light Sphere. Mm. <laughs> he's not looking for. <laughs> he's not looking to sponsor people. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to sponsor people. He's, no, he's. he's, he's I he's, know. He's a multi-million dollar. Area. I know. <laughs> But I love I love that thing. Mm. I mean, it's like one of my favorite pro pro photography products. Mm. So you know, is there anything that you think a photographer needs to learn before they? So I think what I'm I've learned is you need a better. I need mm. a if I want to be sponsored, mm. I need a much bigger social media following because mm. I don't have twenty thousand people following me anywhere. Mm. You know, so that would be the first step. Is there anything else that you feel like they have to have before they're even worthy? Of approaching you, 
Um, Not you, but yeah. anybody. I mean, uh, getting back to some things is, I think some is, is, is um, learning, you know, some, a lot of, there's a lot of people out today that are good photographers, you know, good thing, but they're, there's their um, follow through skills or you know follow through is not very not very not very good. Um, so I think if you are gonna you know that's the hardest this type thing, you know follow through and getting back to people you know especially your sponsors is is, is in my opinion is very very key in, in, in partnership. Mm -hmm. You know um, I think that's something that they have to 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 learn and you know to and mm -hmm. try to develop mm -hmm. if they want to get into that type of thing. Okay. Um, other than that, you know, s uh, again, so social media and just really understanding the, you know, if you are going to do the partnership, really understand the, the importance of a partnership and what, what's involved it and what it takes to, 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 to make sure that it's a win-win for everybody and not just, and not just a one-sided thing. Yeah. This is a, I'm learning a lot yeah. here. And it's interesting because, you know, there are so many different levels of sponsorship too, as you said, you know like just putting a good word mm -hmm. in for somebody that's a, you know that's a form of sponsorship okay. you know yeah, right and then payment is mm -hmm. another one is there anybody is there a photographer could a photographer that's the other thing is too is payment you know the thing if you that's another thing that you, you just brought it up a payment if you agree to pay something you know it, it, it makes sure that you're punctual you pay on time you know you don't have to you don't have to if you agree to sponsor you don't have to chase someone and, and you know, and, 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 and say you're gonna pay some pay something, and then and then then say, oh, I don't have the money right now, but you know, I'll pay you in six seven months. You know, paying on time and, and, and delivering what you say we do. You know, Yikes. and not saying I'm not saying that everybody's. I'm not saying that it's that it's, I have seen it's, for the most case people pay on time, but there are people that I've seen that you know that that have not agreed mm -hmm. to sponsor thing, and you have to and, and and they pay like eight months later. You know, six months later. Ooh. You know, Ooh. so yeah, that would be a, not a good one. Yeah. That seems like a no-brainer. Shouldn't mm. even be brought up, but you don't think that people right. would do that. Yeah, most so most, most people there, don't. But you is know. there? I mean, so realistically, mm. if you're a photographer, even if you got some big, big name, mm. you're not going to be making a living with sponsorships, are you? Uh, you, if you, you can't really make a living probably with sponsorship. Type no, things. Gotta, you, you can other, other just things. even not even have like half your income. You can mm. have just small portions of income from sponsorship. So it's something that you ha mm. have to think about seriously before mm. you do it because you're right. There are drawbacks to mm. it, and the expectations are that you are going to be this big promoter of mm. this company, and so and not of a competing company, mm. yeah. which is a limiting mm. thing for a photographer. Mm. So yeah, that's a lot to think about. So if you were to give advice to an amateur or beginning photographer mm. who are thinking about like, I'm going to go pro, mm. I think I'm going to need a sponsor, what would your advice be to them? Um, Do I they get, even need a sponsor? When they're, if they're just beginning out, as so they get just beginning out and just starting up, it, 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 it'd be at that point in time, it'd be very, very difficult to even approach a sponsor just, just, start, just starting out. But if there's something that they like to get towards and approach for and build, and build on and someday be able to, to, to get one, um, I think all the things that we've talked about. Just a step by step. step just thing. become a good photographer, hmm. be a good person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be passionate. Build up your social media. Your yeah. Um, be passionate about what you do, you know, um, and just be down to earth, you know, down to earth and um, just go out there and, you know, eventually if they have the stuff, you'll, you, if, you, if you have the stuff and you do all the, the, the criteria that we've talked about during this whole show type thing that, that, the, that eventually that people will start recomm recommending you or hearing about you and you'll, you'll, and you'll get, you'll get not noticeable. Yeah, that's, I think that's you know. Really good advice. Uh, but you can't. There's no way. There's so no. There's no way to expect someone brand new and say, "I want to be new and, and start reaching out sponsors right away." They, 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 to get to that level, they have to, they have to um, go out and deliver, and um, before they can even talk about that. So, what I'm getting from this mm -hmm. whole conversation mm -hmm. is maybe it's just better to be a good networker, where you're out, you see somebody, you're at a trade show. Let me help you with this. Mm -hmm. And make a good impression, make a friend, and maybe that's a better way to go. Is just by, you know, getting to know the people in the area, getting to know the vendors, getting to know the other photographers, and then we can all help each other that way. I mean, that's kind of how you do business. Correct. Yeah. 
Um, and there yes, doesn't need to be any money no, involved. I mean, mm. any exchange of money yeah. involved. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm big, learning. I'm, I'm a big believer. I'm a big believer in, as I stressed before, relationships. Relationships is key to everything. Yeah. And you build relationships and you build trust. And you can, and it's more than, you're more than just a customer and you, and you feel you can call someone and trust someone and they have your back and you have your, your back, then all these other things can happen. And at the end of the day, we'll have much more, much, much, much more credibility, much more bang for your buck than. I agree. Than just, just, and just you really opened my eyes up <laughs> about the sponsorship. I'm going to brag about a story. <laughs> I'm going to tell a story that's related <laughs> to this, but it's bragging about me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. Okay, I subscribe to this. Uh, I don't know what it's called, program called Help a Reporter Out. Mm. And they send you, like, reporters will go, hey, I need to interview somebody. I need to interview, you know, it's, it's anything. It could be, mm. I need to interview somebody about how to tame your, how to house sit, how to, you know, house break your dog. Mm. I need somebody to talk about the latest healthcare trends. Mm. So I look through this every, every day. It comes mm. five days a week, three times a day. And I look for photographers. Like, I, are you looking to mm -hmm. interview a photographer? And I've got a lot of good press from, from that. Mm. So I was looking, it's kind of boring to look through it every day, you know. I'm looking through it, and I just get to the end, I was about to close it down, and I saw Naples, Florida. And it caught my eye, because mm. it's a national thing. You don't usually see anything about Naples, Florida. So she said, I'm looking for a historian from Nap to talk about Naples, Florida. So I thought, I've been here for 25 years. I know everybody in town. So I emailed her the names and phone numbers and email addresses of the two historians I know. I just did it to be helpful. I don't mm -hmm. even know her, but I just thought, well, yeah, I know these people, and these, this will be, probably be good for my friend Lois to mm -hmm. get in the Wall Street Journal. It was for the Wall Street Journal. So she emailed me immediately back and said, can I just interview you? And I'm like, me? I'm not a historian, <laughs> right? You know. <laughs> So she called me, and I started talking. Well, it turns out I'm more of a historian mm. than I realized because I did study the history of this area because I st we uh, offer something called the Old Naples Photo Tour. Mm. So we do that every Monday during season. She wrote up this two-page article, well, not two full pages, but it was on two pages. The article it was a long article, and about, I'm going to say, a little less than half of the article was about me and the Old Naples Photo Tour, and I was like, Oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm in the Wall Street Journal. It was on February 9th, 2018. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> but I was just trying to be helpful. Mm. And I got this national coverage over it. Mm. So it does. It pays to be nice to people yeah. yes. and mm. to try to help people and try, because you've always reached out and you're mm. always trying to help people. Mm. And then everybody tries to go to hunts, go to. Yeah. Everybody on my show is always talking about hunts. <laughs> 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 All right, so where can we find Gary? Farber, if we want, if we, we, well, Hunts Photo and Video, HuntsPhotoAndVideo.com is your website. Correct, yes. What if somebody wanted to contact you, Gary Farber? If they wanted to contact me, um, I'm Gary Farber, then my email address is digital, digitalguygary at wbhunt.com. Um, at what? WB. Oh, WB. WBHunt, H U M T dot com. Yeah, digital. New guy. England accent. <laughs> 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 Digital guy Gary at whunt.com. Um, they can contact me anytime. Um, I'm usually available, almost 24 to 7. I um, know you are. A you are a workaholic. <laughs> um, you got I, a little working problem there. <laughs> if you do contact me, you know if I'm around, I do answer my emails thoroughly. I return all my emails and calls, and um, and that's how you can get. That's how you can get a hold of me. All right, but huntsphotoandvideo.com, yeah. and we will have that information on the show notes, and we'll have a recap of what Gary and I talked about. Thank you for being on oh, the show. You're welcome. Thank All you very right. much. Thank you. We'll get you next <laughs> time. We'll have to think about the topic <laughs> next time because, boy, you have so much information in that brain of yours. <laughs> so, so tune in here next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time if you'd like to watch the Understand Photography Show live. Or remember, you can watch us on YouTube or listen on iTunes. I'm Peggy Farron. Thank you so much for watching the Understand Photography Show, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching the Understand Photography Show. It would help us immensely if you would click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get up!